Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Today on the Doc on the Run podcast, we're talking about how pain is the most underutilized tool for recovering runners. Now look, nobody who's a runner wants to wind up with pain. However, once you get injured and you're trying to recover from your running injury, pain is actually one of the most useful tools at your disposal. In fact, I often tell runners and doctors at medical conferences that pain is probably the most abundant and most underutilized evaluation tool available to runners when they're trying to get back to activities like running. Now, here's the thing. You have lots of pain and that pain is useful. The problem is, is you're wasting it. Every runner who calls me for a consultation, who does a second opinion telemedicine visit, well, they all can tell me what their heart rate was during their last workout, what their pace was during their last speed session, but very few of them can actually tell me what their pain level is on a daily basis, or for that matter, how it's changed. And the way that your pain feels right now and how it changes throughout the course of your recovery is the most useful thing and the most accurate thing to use as a predictor of when you can actually alterate your activity, increase the distances that you run, and increase the intensity of your workouts. The pain is also very reliable as long as you track it. It can be just as reliable as your heart rate or your pace or your perceived exertion or any of these other things that you typically measure as a runner. It's also reliable. It's cheap. It's reliable. It's available. And it's one of those things that you can do to do, use to do four different things. The first thing is to determine your diagnosis. You know, the pain that you have and the way that you describe your pain to me when you call me for a second opinion actually really helps me figure out what the diagnosis is, what exactly might be wrong with you. The second thing that's actually really important if you're training for a specific event is that the pain level that you have and the changes that occur within your pain level over a given period of time when you try different treatments, well, that actually really helps you determine the severity of your injury. And obviously, the more severe it is, the more protective you need to be of that injured part and the more diligent you need to be about protecting it as you return to activity. The other thing that's really, really important is that it actually does help you, your pain level. It helps you determine when you increase your activity. So if you're tracking your pain and you're trying some treatments and your pain level starts to decrease, well, that implies increased strength in the injury tissue and that increased strength in the injured tissue then allows you to safely take the activity level, the distance that you're running, the intensity of your training. It can take all those things up a notch and see if your pain level goes up or not. And the other thing is that obviously if you're training, if you're running, if you're increasing your intensity, you're running longer distances and you start having more pain, well, that tells you that you need to back off. So, you know, pain is cheap. It's reliable. It's abundant. It's already there. And if you're not using it, you're wasting it. Well, this is one of the things that I talk about in the three-day fast track challenge to help you figure out what your real pain level is, what your baseline pain level is, and sort of how you can use that in this evaluation process when you're trying to figure out on your own what your diagnosis is, what you need to do, and what you need to do to maintain your running fitness. So it's free. You can sign up. It's three days of a training where I walk you through the process of figuring this out, and it'll actually really help you make a lot of progress in getting some real numbers that you can use for evaluation of your current circumstances and when you can increase your activity as you continue to recover. So go check it out, stockontherun.com. You can get it. It's at the bottom of the show notes for this episode. Just check it out and make sure that you join us and I'll see you in the training. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.